students, in today's video, I am participating in the One Box Challenge hosted by Rachel from The Sweet and Simple Home. The idea behind this challenge is to take a box, a bag, any kind of a container, go around your home and declutter areas and decide what you are uh, willing and able and want to uh, donate or get rid of out of your home. I have been doing a lot of decluttering and honestly, the day that she announced this video that was coming out, I took a whole trunk load full of stuff to the Goodwill Dropbox. Here's a uh, picture of that. So when I found out she was doing this challenge, I thought, I'm not gonna be able to find anything else in my house to declutter or to get rid of, so I wasn't sure I was even gonna be able to participate in this video. But I just posted a video on Monday of me decluttering seven areas in my home in seven days. And one of the reasons why I did that was so that I could participate in this challenge as well as to show that you can declutter even if you don't have a whole lot of time. I only took uh, one area each day and it took me less than 15 minutes usually per day to get those areas cleaned up and decluttered. So what I'm gonna show you today are things, are, are the things that I found when I was doing that video, um, as well as a few other things that I have found in my home in other areas. So let me turn this camera around and uh, show you what I am going to put in this one box. And if you have not seen, <clears throat> excuse me, if you haven't seen that video of me doing the decluttering, um, I will link it in the eye in the sky or in the description box below or both. <laughs> so let's turn this camera around and I'll show you what I'm getting rid of. Here's my empty box. And here are the things that I'm going to be donating. We'll just start here at this end. This was when I was decluttering my bathroom underneath my kitchen or underneath my bathroom sink and in the closet. I found this makeup bag. I don't remember where I got it. I think I got it from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't need it, so I'm going to donate it. These also came from the Dollar Tree. They're really, really cute, but I'd never use them, and they're just collecting dust, so I'm donating those. That wasn't in my bathroom. This was, um, I don't even remember what this bar of soap is all about, but it's a really nice bar of soap. I don't know if I'll donate the bar of soap. I'll probably keep that. I just haven't uh, taken the time to deal with it. This is a soap dish, so I'll keep the soap. I'm gonna wash this soap dish and then I will donate the soap dish. I'm not gonna put this in the box yet because I need to take care of that. This is some finishing spray I bought just to see if I liked it. It was only a dollar. Don't really care for it. I mean, I don't even use it and I never really noticed much of a difference. So I'm going to first see if Olivia wants this, and if not, that's going to go in the box. Cute. Sally keeps sneezing. My dog. It's okay. Stop that sneezing. She was probably sniffing something and got it up her nose. <laughs> that poor thing. Uh, this is Olivia's um, jewelry holder from the Dollar Tree. I got her this, and then a while later they came out with one that was actually cuter. So I got her the cuter one, and so she doesn't need both, and so I'm getting rid of that. This is some hand soap or hand uh, lotion that I don't really use. I've got so much hand lotion, so I'm getting rid of that. This was actually part of a Christmas gift that my husband got me. It was a whole set of the Dr. Teal's body lotions, and I don't really care for the eucalyptus. I like the other scents in there, but I didn't really like this. So I'm going to go ahead and donate that. These are just some of those silicone rings that you wear on your fingers. Um, I tried those, I'd seen some other people wearing them, so they weren't very expensive. Got them off of Amazon, came in this little bag, and um, I never wear them. Don't really like them, so I'm donating those. There's some more lotion that I never use. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. Some more lotion, like I told you, I have a ton of hand lotion. And so the ones I don't like, I'm not keeping. This is some hand lotion I didn't really care for. I 
think that's all of the bathroom stuff. Now we'll go on to the kitchen stuff. This is a scoop that I had gotten for the kids' graduation uh, party. We had like a candy bar and we used these little scoops. Don't need it, don't have a use for it, donating it. I had gotten a whole set of funnels and this is the one funnel that I never use. It's just not the right size for anything. So that's going. This is uh, my cup that it still works, but I've got so many of these insulated cups and this one, the paint is starting to peel off. I think it's because uh, the kids put it in the dishwasher and it really wasn't supposed to go in the dishwasher. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. This has been floating up, around up in my cupboard for probably 10 years. I have a digital meat thermometer. I don't need this. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate those. This was an item I purchased at the Salvation Army a couple years ago, and I, I thought it was interesting and different, and I, and I love chickens, but I just have tried it in many different areas in my home, and it just doesn't fit in anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this back. I picked up this milk glass piece at a yard sale last summer and I didn't realize until I got home that it actually is broken. It had a handle at one time that went across. And so, yeah, I don't really want a piece of broken milk glass. I didn't pay very much for it, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. This is a candle snuffer that a sweet lady in our church gave to me, but it's too short. It needs to be much longer for these the jarred candles, you know, once it gets down low. And so I never use it, so that's going. This was part of um, when I used to teach co-op for our homeschool group. Um, I used this as a prop, and I don't have any use for it now. And I don't think Olivia wants it. I'll ask her before I get rid of it for sure, but if she doesn't want that, that's going. This was a piece of home decor that I used for quite some time and it ended up getting broken. I knocked it over and the chicken's comb got chipped and so I'm just going to go ahead and donate that. Someone who's more talented than I am could maybe paint it or fix it so that it doesn't look chipped and I'm just going to leave the greenery in there, the foliage that I had. This is a lampshade that I had used on my milk glass lamp, but I don't need it anymore because I found a milk glass lampshade. This is just some miscellaneous Christmas items that Olivia used and she doesn't need anymore. Got some pencils. Scott brought these a ton of these home from work and I don't need five or six boxes of pencils. So I wanna donate a couple of those. This is something that one of my co-workers gave me and I really just don't have a use for it. I don't know how to tell people no, so I just take what they give me and then decide if I want it later. I don't, I don't need it, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. These are some placemats that I decluttered out of my bathroom linen closet that I just, I just don't use them. These and these, so those are going. And then this is one of those dryer mats for dishes. I've got several of them that are nicer than this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Some more Christmas decor that I'm not gonna use. Oh, it's a bow, it's really smashed right now, but somebody can fluff it. Some, this was some decor I had used downstairs. Don't need it anymore. Some Christmas bags that I have been given gifts at Christmas time in, and yeah, don't need them. I don't keep bags. And then these, I'm not sure if, if Salvation Army or Goodwill take food items. These were the teas that I took out of my tea cupboard when I uh, decluttered that area. These are just teas that we don't, um, we don't drink. I don't really care for them and they're just taking up space. So I think I'm probably gonna donate these to a food pantry and not to Goodwill. So there is my full to overflowing box for the one box challenge. And I'm still amazed at the fact that I got 
this much stuff after I had already decluttered so much. Thank you to Rachel for um, hosting this challenge. I will have her channel and <clears throat> the playlist linked in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.